If you're working from home, you may have had to use Zoom to participate in a virtual meeting. And if you have, you may have noticed people having fun, interesting backgrounds behind them. Well, today I want to show you inside of Zoom how to do just that. But even better, I want to show you how to use a free application online, Canva, to create beautiful, interesting designs that you can use for these meetings. Let's get started. So canva.com is a free online design tool, which incredibly diverse, many things that we can do with it, but they just launched a particular set of templates for Zoom meetings specifically. So if you hop over to canva.com and sign up for a free account, you'll be presented with the following dashboard. Uh, if you check out my other YouTube videos, you'll find all of my walkthroughs about how to use Canva. It's a really amazing design application and totally free. Uh, however, for today, we're just gonna focus on Zoom. So if you come up to the top left, left and hit create a design, uh, you'll get a quick drop down, and from within there, we could start to search for Zoom. And immediately that comes up, Zoom virtual background. So immediately, this is the size that Zoom is looking for when it's replacing the background image. And Canva has included all these fun, interesting, unique backgrounds for us. So we're working from a cafe. We are working from space. And this is actually a video that'll play behind you the whole time. We are working from the jungle, you know, from the cosmos, like whatever you want to go. Now, some of these, for instance, they have uh, digital animated elements that you can drag around and replace. You know, so if you want to really spend some time on it, you could have one by one these fill out as people start to <laughs> invoke the conference called Bingo Elements. Now, what's really great is because you have the full force of Canva with any of these designs as you do. You're just creating an image to place behind you. So what we can do is if you wanted to brand yourself, so for instance, I've uploaded my logo here previously. And here we are. Can, uh, adjust that in the corner. So if you're on call with clients or uh, having a larger meeting, you can have any number of design elements, customizations to these background images as well. Download it, have it apply to your meeting. Uh, what's really nice with, there was one template here for a teacher, or you can imagine too, if it was more of a flat background, it could just be the agenda for today's meeting. Like here's the things we're going to go through. We could actually use the space from which we're going to be having behind us. Uh, same thing as far as branding, different type of options. So I'll tell you what, let's download a couple and I'll show you how to do this inside of Zoom. So first let's download the world here. I think that's really interesting. We'll tell you what, actually I found this one kind of trippy. So I wouldn't mind kind of downloading this one. So after you find the one, have the one that you want in the top right, you'll click publish and then you'll see this download button. Go ahead and click download. It's saying you want it as video. Yes. And download. Now this will take just a second as it prepares the video file for me. And after this, we'll put together an image and have that apply. <clears throat> Here we are. Great. So let's choose a different version, but let's brand it for myself and my business. So let's go ahead and put Trevor here. Teaching design and sites that's uh, it's technically aligned but visually I'm finding that alignments a bit off let's go like that and then okay let's add my branding just a quick logo make it small so it's not uh, doesn't get too much in the way all nicely aligned with one another there we go Excellent. So you can completely brand yourself, uh, have a little name card, have it as a business card. Looks great. So we'll go ahead and publish. Now this time we'll notice, so same thing, top right, publish. We'll hit download. You'll notice now it changes to an image because this is just a flat image file, not a video. We'll hit download. And there we go. Great. So we're done here with Canva. Let's bring up Zoom. So when you open up Zoom, you're going to come over here to the little gear icon in the top right. And that'll bring up a second pop-up where we can adjust everything. Now if we come over here on the left side to virtual background, we'll click on that. And here we have it. So here's the other webcam camera, the other <laughs> laptop camera I use. And you can see as much as I love my kids' drawings, maybe I don't want to have that as part of my client meetings. So immediately... 
So actually, so first click, I did, I did want to show this. Um, you'll, need, you'll need to download uh, the Smart Virtual Background Package. So don't worry about that, but anything you click, it'll come up and then go ahead and proceed to download. Quick download, quick uh, install, um, but just so don't be concerned if that one comes up first. You do need that. And there we have it, and it is right behind me. Now this is important, so the, if you open up Zoom, and there's a couple, uh, for instance, there's a couple of videos here. If you open up Zoom and you don't have these default videos, uh, download the latest version of the software. When I was first creating this video, I didn't have the option to add a video, and I was kind of scratching my head about why that is. And in fact, it's just because the uh, this feature is only in some of the latest versions of Zoom. So make sure you have the latest version from the Zoom website to enable the video part of it. Now let's add in the ones that we just downloaded from Canva. So if we, on the little plus sign on the, oh, on the right side, you add images or add video. Let's start with our image. Here's what I just downloaded. So let's go ahead and open. And perfect. So we'll notice that it is inverted or it's flipped around. If you come down to the bottom here, you'll notice that it's saying mirror my video. So it's kind of swapping the video so that it's a more natural presentation if you're thinking about how you look at yourself in a mirror. So if we check that and flip, uncheck the mirror my video, it switch, switches around just fine. So here I am, I am a living, breathing business card. <laughs> now if we go ahead and add a video now. So I'll click on the plus arrow again and add video. Let's find that video that we had just downloaded from Canva, and it is a psychedelic good time here. And that is it. As soon as you press the X button, it is applied. The next video call you have will include that virtual background, either something fun, some, a dog licking your face, or you know, just some nice scenic view, and again, maybe your living business card. So lots of fun to do, easy to apply in Zoom, and if you're having a lot of online virtual meetings at this time, it's a way to kind of spruce things up and kind of shield what is behind you to present a more professional view. So until next time, good luck with your virtual meetings and cheers to your great looking designs.